Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today we're at Adria for the launch of their brand new 2021 season models of caravans and motorhomes. In this vlog I'm going to show you round the first look at the 2021 caravans. So what have we got? As we can see we've got a brand new Adora range. There's four models all together in the range and they've been completely redone inside and out. They look amazing but we'll come back to those shortly. Let's start first of all with Adria's entry-level caravan. It's over here and it's the Altea range. Now the Altea, as you may well know, there's four models in the range. There aren't really any great changes for the 2021 season. What we do have though, we have some differences on the outside, as we can see here to the decals. We've now got solid blue and that's to fit in with the rest of the range. The main change we're going to find though on the Altea is inside and I'm really pleased with the change that we're going to find. I'll show you that in just a minute. If you're interested in one of the four Altea ranges, then have a look on our channel because I have reviewed three of the four models, so you'll be able to find them there. Let's go and have a look inside and I'll show you what's new for 2021. So we've just come inside the Altea Dart, a caravan that I have reviewed some time ago. What I really like is that Adria have listened to what you have said. They've changed the upholstery in here. It was quite a vibrant indigo blue for last year and a lot of people fed back that it really wasn't for them. So Adria have gone darker on the colour scheme and we've got a really nice pattern curtain as well to go with them. I'm not a fan of curtains, but I do like those. So this combination is going to be a nice way to go into the 2021 season. It's also interesting to note that the dark layout, which has the island bed at the back and the centre washroom, has actually been the best selling layout in this range. So that's the only change we're looking at on the 2021 Altea, the change in the upholstery and the decals. The layouts remain the same and everything else. What we'll do now is we'll venture over to the Alpina range and just have a quick look at some small changes that have been made there for 2021. So the top of the range Alpinas, what's going to be different on these? Well, they are going to have solid decals and we are going to have a slight change of upholstery inside. But otherwise, again, on these, there's nothing greatly different because they're already a great caravan and customers have been very happy with them. We're still just going to find the two different layouts. We've got the Twin Axle Colorado, which is just over 8.3 metres in length and eight feet wide and that's got the twin beds in the back. The other, the Mississippi, that remains on the single axle for 2021 and no changes there. So those are the flagship Alpinas. I can update you that the Adria Action, there's going to be a slight change for 2021. We have an Adria Action here which we'll just have a little look at and talk about that. So the two berth Adria Action, Again, no changes for 2021 apart from one, and that's going to be externally here at the front and the side bumpers. These instead of blue are going to be almost a graphite gray. So they're going to go to a slightly different color. If you want to see a review of the Adria Action, I have done one recently on our channel. So just have a little look back and have a look at that review. It'll give you all the information you need to know. But otherwise, that's it for the Altea, the Action and the Alpina. The main differences, and this is where it gets exciting, the main differences are on the Adora range. So what we'll do now is we'll make our way over to an Adria Adora Isonzo and we'll have a look there and then we'll move on to a Sava and have a look at the differences on that one as well. I think the best introduction to the new Adora is to start with the Isonzo, a caravan we know a lot about. The Adora range for 2021 will have four models. We've got here today the Isonzo and the Sava, which I'll show you next. And then I'll just round up by telling you about the other two models, one of which is a whole new layout, which I think is going to be really popular. So what do we need to know about the new Adora? Well, three of the models will be eight feet wide. The Sane will retain seven foot six. So that will be smaller with single beds. 
Theodora, we've got this huge new silver front and the locker, which is massive. It literally does run from here all the way to that far end. We've got as well, the three windows have been retained, but then we see these new sidebars and these have been tested. And this is now the most aerodynamic caravan within the industry. The grab handles are now here as opposed to here. And we've got slightly different running lights as well. The changes as we come down. One thing I can say is it's really good to see that the awning channel on the off side is going to be opened on the new 2021 Adoras. So no more worrying about getting your towing jacket into that off side. And yes, these caravans will still take a towing jacket. I am reliably informed. As we move down the Isonzo, as I say, this isn't a full review because I will be doing that later in the year. But we've now got silver sides, but with blue. The decals are completely blue and it's more of a thicker band running down the caravan. And that blue is now carried across all of the ranges, including the Altea and the Alpina. The next large great change that we're going to find as we head down the Isonzo is the back end. And this has been completely changed. So here we are, we've got the back of the Isonzo and look at this, it's absolutely fantastic. We've got the silver bars that have carried on down. We've got our grab handles here. We don't have the Adria up above. It's been changed for a chrome effect here. And we've got the model here. The bumper is not as, as deep now before it came out more. It's a much more slimline effect. And we've got these amazing new LED lights. And this really does set off the back of the Adora range. All the back ends on all the Adoras are going to follow suit and have this appearance. Absolutely fantastic. The changes aren't just external, the inside has been completely revamped. We've got a new colour scheme inside and we've got additional upholstery pieces here, which we didn't have before. We've also got the storage lockers the front has retained the wood effect, whereas the kitchen moves into this white matte finish. And they've done that just to separate the lounge from the living space. As we found in the previous 2020 model, we still have a good sized microwave and we've got the storage up above there. We've got here a completely new worktop space. It's almost like a Corian effect which is a lovely finish. One of the complaints from many Adria owners that there wasn't enough worktop space. So what Adria have done is they have put in some bars here and there are shelves which you can hook over. We've got an example of one here. So if you wanted to hook your shelf onto there and put items in it, it will just give you that little bit more storage. Still not ideal. I would maybe like a little bit more room over on the off side, we still find we've got the same wardrobe and uh, shelving unit that we've had previously in the Isonzos. Again, though, absolutely loads of storage and the Adora is still coming as standard with the Alder central heating. What you can also have now as an option for 2021 is Adria Mac. And what that is, is it's an app on your phone that can connect to your caravan. You'll be able to monitor all the systems within the caravan including the heating and the fridge and your gas use it's also going to have maps in built there it's going to be able to tell you where your nearest campsites are petrol stations points of interest and what's really good is your manual will also be in that app and it will be specific to your actual caravan because you'll have a qr code on your caravan that you'll scan and it will then be able to give you all the details that you're going to need for your Adora. So that's an excellent option that is available. We'll spin around now and we'll just talk through some of the changes at the back end of the Isonzo for 2021. So as we move back into the bedroom, what's new on the Adoras? Well, the beds are slightly higher, which is going to give you more accessibility underneath. 
and new on the 2021 on the Isonzo, the double bed now does actually retract so you'll have more space to walk around during the day. On a night time, when you extend it out, it's going to be a two metre bed and they have upgraded the mattresses and they feel a lot better because that was our gripe with ours. So this is a massive improvement. The Isonzo behind me, you can see we've got the bathroom. Now the door, the sliding door before came from here and came across. We now find it over here and the entry is straight through the middle into this rear washroom. We've got a completely remodeled wash basin. The shower cubicle is still to this side and the toilet is still to this side. So completely remodeled in the back end here of the washroom. So that's a very quick overview of the Isonzo. As I say, we will be doing individual reviews as and when these come out to the dealerships, but I can't do that today. Let's head next over to the, the Sava, the Adria Adora Sava, which was new for 2020 and has been completely revamped in line with the whole Adora range. So let's go over to the Sava. So here we are at the Sava. Now, the Sava was introduced last year for 2020. It's a twin axle family caravan. The 2020 was a five berth. Now for 2021, we've got several changes which are probably going to appeal to families for five to six people. The caravan now is capable of going up to a six berth, which is great if you want more room and to sleep more family members. It's still on this twin axle, and it's weighing in at 1,900 kilograms. Price-wise, the Adoras now are going to be around 25,000 pounds. As we can see, it's got the windows there at the sides, which suggests that's where we're going to find the bunks, and there is going to be access to some storage. Inside is where we're going to find some great changes. Obviously, at the front, we have that new locker that we found on the Isonzo, and if we come round the back as well, we're going to see the new back. Let's go around and have a look. So at the back of the Sava, we're going to find the new LED lights. We've got the new sidebars and we find the grab handles here now instead. Adria have put their badge here and they've also got the model name over there. There's no longer the Adria up on the top, but we do still have that nice curved shape. What Adria have done, which is really clever, is They've reduced the size of the rear bumper, which was always big and chunky, and they've increased the inside space because a caravan to tow with a car under three and a half tonnes basically can't have a, a body length over seven metres. So Adria have reduced the bumper to give us more space inside. Let's have a look inside at this new layout because it is beautiful. I'll see you inside. So coming into the Sava, now I haven't reviewed one of these as yet. I'm hoping to do that later in the year on this 2021 to give you a full review. However, what we can see is we've got the Adora Lounge. We haven't got the chest. We've just got the shelf that they have. These are excellent though, don't be put off. We've got these new cushions which roll and fold and can be used as headrests. Then all round, we've got the new wood finish what I do like is as we go into the kitchen, we've got now the ability to have some small shelving units because worktop space was always one of the things that Adria owners said, including ourselves. However, now, as well as having the nice new Corian Effect top, we've also got some room here on the side where we're going to find the television. So we have got a bit of additional space here, but then we also have the ability to put these small shelves around on the sides here. The Sava, we do have, of course, a microwave in the cupboard above. We've got storage. I'll just open those up. We've got the oven and grill. And what I do like, because this was a really good feature on the 20, well, the previous models up until 2020, it was the, the sliding rack, but it was always quite a small space and you couldn't get much more than a couple of tins of beans. So they've actually really increased the size of that sliding rack. Everything is soft close and they do have latches. So when you're towing, they should remain very secure. The Sava does have the Thetford Tower 
fridge and freezer. I think this is about 145 to 147 litres off the top of my head. The Thetford, for me, I always prefer the Thetfords. I really like them. Um, we've used that ourselves and you can get so much food in there for a family uh, easily for a week. Storage wise, you're going to find over here on the near side of the caravan, plenty of wardrobe space for all the family. We've also got shelving units, which is great for putting bits of clothes on. And that goes all the way top to bottom. And then we've got our wardrobe space and this caravan does have the Alder wet central heating system. So if you do have five or six people, you don't have to worry about storage. So where are those berths that I'm talking about? If you go for the Sava in the five berth, then you've got the double bed up ahead. And then you've also got the two bunk beds here. Over here on the off side is the dianette and that'll convert into a single bed. So that would give you five. Now, if you want to add that additional sixth, we'll just turn around and I'll show you where that's going to be. So I've turned around and this is now the off side of the caravan. And as you can see, we've got two big cupboards. Now this is the five berth example. So it's normal cupboard space as you would expect in both cupboards. However, you can have a fold down bunk bed within this cupboard. It is a prototype that's been developed. It will be ready to roll when the Sava goes out and that will give you the additional sixth berth. I don't know the weight capacity of that at the moment, but as you can see, it's going to be a good length as two of these. This one will take a maximum of 70 kilograms. Quick look in the bathroom. Now this, for 2021 is absolutely amazing. Obviously, it's very much the same as the Isonzo that we've just looked at, but it gives you an idea of the amount of space you're going to have in there as a family bathroom. We're going to have the good size shower cubicle. We've got the sink, which is a completely different design, and we've got the toilet. So that is the Sava. What we'll do is we'll head outside and I'm just going to update you about a new model altogether that really is quite exciting. So let's venture back outside. So as I said, there's also a whole new layout. We've got the Sane still, but then the fourth model that's completely new is the Tiber, spelt T-I-B-E-R. That's going to be a four berth island bed model, exactly the same layout as the Altea Dart. And that means there's going to be an island bed at the back and a centre washroom and then the kitchen and lounge as you've seen in the Isonzo. So if you're interested in having a look at that layout in the meantime, have a look at our Adria Altea Dart vlog that we did last year and it'll give you an idea of that layout. But that I would imagine is going to be extremely popular for families of three or four. So you've still got that middle bathroom that's accessible to everybody without having to walk through the bedroom to the rear washroom and shower room. So there we are, it's a bit of a whistle stop tour, but unfortunately that's all I can do for you today. Very excited about the new Adoras. Price wise, as I mentioned earlier, we are looking at an increase up to around £25,000, but this is still a premium caravan. The other models remain fairly unchanged. If you've got any questions about Adria ownership, please do get in touch with us or leave a comment below where we can answer having been owners of an Adria Adora for the last two years. I'd also like to say that if you've enjoyed the content and you would like to support our channel, please do consider buying us a coffee. We really could do with a drink on a warm day like this. We do fund all our content ourselves, so please do, if you would like to support the channel, the links below. Over the coming months, I'll do my best to review several Adria caravans for you so you can see a more detailed look. But there we have it, the new Adria 2021 caravans. I'm very excited to have seen them. Hopefully you are too. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.